First then, the bid by Nick Gillingham to put Britain on the medal table in the 200 metres breaststroke. Gillingham wasn't at his best in the 100 on Monday, and in qualifying for his favourite event, he was only fifth fastest. The men to beat, the Hungarians, Rosa in lane three, and Gutler in lane six. So it's a final, the men's 200 metres breaststroke, four lengths of the pool, Gillingham is going to really have to swim hard tonight if he's going to get a medal. He's capable of winning gold, there is no doubt about that. He's the fastest man in the world this year. The world record is 2.10.16. I think that might be out of reach. We're going to see quite a tactical race here tonight, I think. Good position for Gillingham, right next to Rosa. And now under starter's orders. Holding them quite a long time. Lane four, feet together, please. They're asking lane four lane to four. get their feet together. Can't really see the reason for that. It's a bit of a silly message to relay to hold the guys up on the final. But nevertheless, that's what the referee wants. And a false start. Well, they must have been on edge because the referee asking lane four to keep your feet together no reason for that the law is that you've got to stand at the back of the block and then move forward on the order so it looked like Joaquin Fernandez that's in there going for an early swim and no one else flinching at all but we'll see a couple other swimmers will just get into uh, get nice and wet get used to the water Gentlemen, second start. So Fernandez with the false start. Anybody that goes in second time will actually be disqualified automatically. So back on the blocks they go. Final of the men's 200 meters breaststroke. Gillingham in two, Rosa in three. That's where I think the race will develop, but probably the early leaders will be Andre Ivanov in lane five. Again, the referee asking lane four to keep the feet together. Take your mark. And there they go. What a start by Akiri Hayashi. He got off those blocks very quickly. First to show, though, was Rosa in lane three. Lane one at the top of your picture. Lane eight at the bottom. And Gillingham and Rosa, well, they're going to battle, I think. But look at Rosa go. Now, Gillingham's tactics on the 200 is to get into the stroke on the first 50. Feel the stroke. Let Rosa do all the hard work. Let the other guys do the hard work. And then on the second part of the race, start to pick it up. So it's Rosa, 30.43, right on world record pace. So Rosa means business here. Also going well is Guttler in lane number six. That's Rosa with the black cap. A nice long stroke, leans right into the stroke. Heads now allowed to go underwater on this. And also going very well, it's American down at the bottom of your picture, Eric Bundelik. He's got nothing to lose. He's what they call an outside smoker. They won't be able to see him. So at the 100, let's check the times for you. 1487, well, they've dropped world record pace. So as I said earlier, I don't think we're going to see a world record here. But it looks like the two Americans are really having a bit of a battle on their own. Eric Bundelik way out in lane eight, pushing the third 50. Now Nick is going to have to really start getting up on Rosa because Rosa, remember, won the gold in the 100 here. We know his sprint capabilities. Nick is about a meter behind. Ihashi in lane four is coming also. So could Ihashi be a bit of a surprise? So with 50 meters to go, Rosa turns. Underwater there, they're allowed one stroke underwater. So it's Rosa leading. But at the bottom of your picture, Wunderlich is also up there. So is this going to be a surprise? Is lane eight, Eric Wunderlich, going to win this one? They're not aware of him. Wunderlich is really motoring for home. Gillingham has been dropped. He's got to really move. He's only got 15 metres to go. He's not going to get a goal, but he might pick up a bronze. He's going to have to ship. This is a surprise. Who's going to get this medal? Very close. Who gets it? My goodness. Norman Rosa just gets it. Eric Wunderlich in lane eight. He's in second, third place. It looks like Carolyn Gutler. So I'm afraid that Nick Gillingham is out.
proud of the medal. Nick's time, 2.14.25. Well, we know he's capable of swimming much faster than that. He just hasn't hit the form that we saw at the Commonwealth Games. But Eric Wunderlich, with the saved head, committed himself. He really motored up the first 100. But the man there, Norbert Rosa, who's world champion in the 100 meters breaststroke. Here you can see how close this finish is. Wunderlich at the bottom. Rosa, three down from the top. Look at this finish now. You can't really separate that. Rosa winning 2.12.8.1. Wunderlich, six hundredths of a second behind. 2.12.8.7. And then Gutler, well, just snatching the bronze. 2.14.1.2 for Gutler. So the Hungarians doing it again. They won gold and silver in the 100. They've got gold and bronze in the 200. And sadly, Nick Gillingham doesn't pick up a medal tonight. Yes, the Hungarians, and Norbert Rosa in particular, having an excellent time in Rome. His second gold medal, with Hungary taking both gold and bronze, and Wunderlich of the States taking silver.